response to Jason Moore's video on uh, aliens, conspiracies, and UFOs. First of all, I agree with you. There probably is uh, intelligent life in space, and and to quote uh, Monty Python, "There's bugger all down here on Earth." Uh, conspiracy theorists, you're quite right, will scream that you're not listening to them because a lot of people don't listen to them. Uh, and you have every right to say you want to change the subject or you don't feel comfortable discussing that. If, if they're not going to listen to you on that point, they're just being rude. Now, if you dismiss them or belittle them, yes, they're going to get worse. They will yell even louder because they think you're just being stupid. And in some cases, some people are. Now, regardless, now I actually did a three-part series on uh, conspiracy theories and what standards of proof should be applied. However, we've also got to put standards on uh, ourselves as far as what we dismiss. And you've got to remember, an official explanation is an explanation given by officials. And maybe officials don't want to be bothered taking the time to reason things out and research things and look into them extensively because really they just want to get on with their job. I'm just saying that's one sort of official explanation. That's, and I'm not even getting into deliberately lying to cover up an agenda. So, with that in mind, it's, we get back to UFOs and what we're seeing. Now, it could be a light show, done with holograms. It could be light bodies of beings from different states of consciousness. It could be uh, aircraft that produce a, f a large amount of light. We don't know. The evidence of action, the grammar, because there's logic, grammar, and rhetoric. Rhetoric's conflicting, and we don't know about the logic. The grammar of the situation indicates that these are flights. Now, whether they're test flights of government aircraft or uh, things done to keep us deliberately confused, I'll tell you one thing. Isn't it convenient that this marvelous technology, which could seemingly end a lot of uh, technological and environmental problems here on Earth, is from out there? Oh no, it's not like Nikolai Tesla was, uh, was working on. Oh no, it's not like uh, anything Anything you could walk up to somebody's house, knock on their door, and ask them to explain why um, they're doing it. No, no, it's from out there. So we can't question uh, the technology, we can't question the disruptions, and, as, and let's face it, from an organizational standpoint, it's very convenient as an excuse mechanism because you've got to have a balance of excuses. You put it all on one thing all the time, eventually people are going to demand an explanation uh, as to what's causing this thing. You can't put it all on incompetence, or else it's a massive review. You can't put it all on accidents, or that people review your uh, materials and your stuff, and that's too much scrutiny. You can't put it all on aliens, or else the whole world will start screaming in a panic uh, over aliens, and that's very rarely helpful to the powers that be. So, I think the alien side of things is convenient. I think the UFO side of things could have any number of explanations, and I've got my own preferred theories, Lord knows. However, I ask the audience to look at one thing themselves. And if you feel, and if you're not giving, if you aren't balancing your mind so that you could take in new information objectively, and uh, look at it fairly, then ask yourself this. Would you ever stand a reasonable chance of acknowledging, accepting, or even identifying the truth, even if uh, the truth of UFOs, even if it was presented to you without it? The worst bit is, for the people that make conspiracy theorists more manic and upset, uh, they're just comfortable being in their own little explanation bubble and they're not going to examine themselves even in the slightest. And for those people, I honestly pity them. I'm Ozzy Griffin. I'm minorly annoyed. And I hope you have a good afternoon.